Hello and welcome back to Stat Wars. It's not the champions, it's not the league, it's El El Twatico. Yes! It's back. The one that really matters to me the most. Yeah, it's the one that Beating the fans die you for at the end into of the a season. pulp. Well, we'll see. It's never happened yet. Yeah, it very rare. In fact, yeah, has it ever, have I ever been? I think we've played three, two or three times, and I'm 100% so far. Oh, but confident they've been, over it. But they've been tight. They've been tight. But to explain why, so Joe has one league fixture left but Dave Jackson is not in this week, so that will be filmed next week, which will then decide who plays in the relegation playoff against Bab. It's all a bit complicated, so we're filling a bit of time with El Twatico. But uh, welcome aboard. Feeling confident? Yes, mate, I'm feeling very confident. Ooh. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's kick it off, Kieran. Already passed. Welcome back to Stat Wars, and Jackson wasn't available for his fixture, so we decided to do just a random friendly, and I say friendly, it's Joe versus Doogie. The El Twatico. Let's get it going. I want some screaming. I want some screaming from everyone involved. Maybe even, you know, an actual physical attack. Room Cobra has asked to Joe, which side from Europe's top five leagues will have the stadium with the smallest capacity in the 2019-20 season? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a tricky one. I mean, they don't come any easier than that <laughs> question, do they? Bournemouth. I was thinking Bournemouth, it's pretty Bournemouth, small. Bournemouth, very small. I believe it's a 12,000 capacity. But then there's f***ing like Spal, mm. all that dog sh Who's out, like, think of these French teams. Yeah. There's one French team that probably doesn't even have stands, just playing in the local park. I think yeah, Neymar's one got man like 32 watching. against them. <laughs> oh, where do Union Berlin play? Berlin? Yeah, I get Berlin. <laughs> but do they have like a weirdly small uh, ground? Because obviously her to play at the Olympic Stadium, mm. so I don't know where the Union play there as it's well. It's not bad tonight. And I know this is their first ever season in the top tier. Topical. But, alas, I'm going to stick with Bournemouth. I know it's particularly low, but there's probably some dog sh French side like Amiens. Go <laughs> on, who is it? Oh! I was, yeah, for some reason I was wrapped around my head, but I just, we'd never have said that. I, no, I wouldn't have question. got that either. Really tough. <sighs> Doogie, your turn next, and Erica has asked, which team has finished as the runners-up the most times in European Cup slash Champions League history? Oh, Nice well, one. Well, a lot of finals. Definitely not Sunderland. Not Sunderland, no, not yet, not yet. New owners coming in, maybe. A <laughs> uh, lot of finals, Real Madrid, AC Milan, Liverpool have been in a lot, but I think they've won most of theirs. Maybe you've, maybe you've entered. I know this one. It's on Twitter the other day. Yeah. It's on Twitter the other day. And I can tell you, it was none of the teams you've just said. Yeah, but I, you are just so, the least trustworthy <laughs> person in this Well, in you this trust arena. me or don't trust me. I'm just giving you a clue there. It was none of the teams you've just said. I'd be very surprised if it was none of them. Maybe Bayern Munich, actually. Definitely wasn't there. Well, it's not, it's not any of the English teams other than Liverpool, I don't think. Okay. I think Liverpool have won, well, they've won six and only lost two or three, probably. Okay. Lost the final. European Cup as Juventus well. Juventus have been in quite a few recently. I can tell you it's none of those teams, categorically. You're just a massive bullsh**, though. I'm not going to take your word. Okay, don't take my word then. Although I'm trying to give you a hint here and be a nice guy. You're not thinking logically. Think, no, uh, think. I'll, go, I'll go Juventus. <laughs> yes! Shut up! Say! Oh, I've got, How did he guess that? Oh, I've got I Twitter. Me, 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 I me, had me. no clue. Shut I up. had to do something to get his mind to put him off. And he still <laughs> guesses right. It was between two of them. Yeah, I thought it could have been. Sake. But I think you've lost quite a few ones. Okay, what's, what's my one then, George? Kieran. Kieran. <laughs> Joe, the next question comes from Sam Goss. Australia hold the record for the biggest win in a competitive international, defeating American Samoa. But what was the score? And you have a leeway of three. Right, who would know this? Like, Potentially I, Pato. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, he's just a big Sad football bastard. nerd. And Australia beating American Samoa 31-0, a game in which Archie Thompson bagged 13. Okay, right, let's think logically. It's going to be way more than sort of 15s. I'm thinking upwards of 20s. Thinking in the region of 25, I'm going 27 nil. Oh, he missed it by one. That is a bitter pill to swallow in sums El Twatico. Sums up my luck on this El Twatico. <laughs> it really sums up the luck of El Twatico. That was such a good guess as well. Oh, for <laughs> sake! How does it happen every 
Every year. Out. Oh. Every year, El Twatico steps up to the plate, and this bastard always gets one over me. One oh. day, I will take it home and win. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What a start. Doogie, you can win the round if you get this right. And that would be a bloody good start to the El Twatico. It comes from Zed. How many more points did Lille get in the 2018-19 season compared to the previous season with a leeway of five? Big leeway there. I know that they were one place above relegation the year before and then finished second this year. No help this time. No. My man you backfired last time. Made myself look like Sam Obaseki there. I reckon Lille got 78 points this year. And then the year before, if you just avoid relegation in a league, you tend to get 30 to 38. Uh, I don't know, 45. Oh, <laughs> needed that. Not too oh, far Oh, just off. three out, okay. Oh. Joe, you need this to draw. This is incredible already. It's just so tight. Hopefully there's no injustices like that 4-3 Manchester derby where Michael Owen scored when Match of the day calculated that the game ran for at least 10 more extra seconds that it shouldn't have. So, still not better about that. I was very upset that day. The King 2K4. Name three of the four players to get at least 15 goals and 15 assists in a single Premier League season. Right, so we know Thierry. So let's chalk him off. Now, would Wazza have done that? Ooh. See, my immediate thinking is Frank Lampard would have done it as well. Thierry, I'm going Frank. And I'm going... Mo Salah. Mm. Oh, ha Hazard. We never got those two anyway. Fair, fair. Frank Lampard wasn't a bad guess. Okay, so I take the first round. Ah, uh, dead. Yeah, you got, you got some... That eyebar question was quite yeah. tricky. Uh, that, uh, buzzing off that eyebar question. <laughs> Thanks very much, Kieran. We haven't twat sent that in. But, you know, awesome. one nil up in El Twatico, an early lead, just like Sunderland always do with Newcastle. That's what I like to see. You don't play them anymore. No, we don't. Not for a while. Hot. Potato, or as it's more commonly now, all across the globe now, Garamalu! Kieran Crichton, beautiful name, spelt just incredibly impeccably. Name every English side to reach a UEFA Cup slash Europa League or Cup Winners Cup final. Okay, Manchester United. Liverpool. Chelsea. Yes. Arsenal. Yes. Leeds. Yes. Spurs. Nottingham Forest, <laughs> Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Preston, Man City, yeah. uh, Ipswich, yeah. Dead. Norwich. <laughs> God. Norwich oh. going big in Europe. The scenes at the Canaries. Oh. One nil. Come on, this could not be going better at the moment. It's, gonna, it's a big comeback from here, big man. Joe, you need us to stay in the game, otherwise it'll be a bloody whitewash. Pile and Al has asked name every player to score at least 20 league goals in Europe's top five leagues in 2018-19. Uh, Jovic, Quagliarella, yes. Messi, yes. Ronaldo, Salah, Aguero, Mane, Aubameyang, Lewandowski, yes. uh, Mbappe, yes. Werner, Neymar, um, Cavani, Dybala, Mandzukic, yes. uh, Suarez, yes. uh, Nicolas Pepe, No. You can't just let that go dead, big man. Get some names in the hand. Yeah, nothing. What are you doing? You no, just watch it go down from 10. <laughs> Not bad. We did pretty well. That's game over. Do you want, I know you've got an edit too. Do you want to do the third round? Or should we just yeah, I want to do the third round. I want to pummel you into the ground. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to lie, my energy levels have fallen off a cliff. I'm struggling big time here. Doogie has well and truly ruined me. Uh, let's go to round three. Kieran, who am I? Doogie has won El Twatico, and very early on, I thought it'd go on for a bit longer than this. Poor form, Joe. Very poor form. Give Doogie all your supreme match. Our first who am I comes from Wem Rosane. For three points, I played with Ida Kajonson, Vicente Lizarazu, oh, me, and Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. William Gallas. <laughs> Rude Hiller. <laughs> for two points, I won a World Cup a Euros, a Champions League, Premier League, and La Liga. Emmanuel Petit. What? Okay. Can you remind me of the three? The bed. I'm pretty sure Emmanuel Petit works, but I'll let it slide. Did Lizzie? Hell. 
Is it Gilberto? Did I say the Euros? Is the Euros on this? He was not thinking. Let the memes commence. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, for one point, I hold the record for the most Premier League golden boots with four. Thierry Henry. It's just one point, big man. Come on. It is what it is. <laughs> I, my head, I'm literally, my head's gone. Any time I'm saying Gilberto is an answer for a European Championship winner, I'm in big trouble. Question two is not Gambaloo, but it rhymed and I just wanted to say it again. Gambaloo, it's who am I? Still, Emma, for three, for, three, for three points, I played with Gordon Strachan, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Emmanuel Petit. Hello. <laughs> what the f*** is this? In, a, in an El Twatico? Can we have some f***ing respect for the derby? I know, there's no respect You don't for see anyone there. picking up their phone in a derby. Bloody hell. Buzz! Alright. Greening. <laughs> <laughs> that used to play for West Brom? <laughs> yeah. Started at United, didn't it? Any danger? Yeah, okay. Jordi Cruyff. <laughs> Good effort. Right. For two points, I came in third place in the 1993 Ballon d'Or vote. Buzz. Mark Hughes. <laughs> Ooh. It's a good one, though. Oh! Eric Cantona. Correct. <laughs> and that's... Do you know what? I thought Cantona, but I, in my head, thought it's already been announced today. It can't we be. We can't be that lazy. Yeah. That's we can! That, that's accurate. We absolutely can. So, what Joe needs is three points to draw. And otherwise, he walks away with his third consecutive El Twatico loss. Joe, you need us to draw this round, but does that matter? No. Would you like some self-respect? Don't think you had any before we even started. Mikey CFC 46. For three points, I played with Luke Shaw, Klaasian Huntelaar, yay, Schalke, and Branislav Ivanovic. Is it Dejan Lovren? <laughs> He's Croatian, not Serbian. Okay, I need this. Okay, so Luke Shaw, I'm thinking Southampton, potentially. Mm. Klaasian Huntelaar, Holland, everywhere. Ivanovic, Chelsea, Russia. Serbia. <laughs> Yeah, but didn't he play in CS at CSKA? Oh, right, okay. Don't know actually where he was. That enormous arse of his. Nemanja Vidic. <laughs> Dusan Tadic. Oh, oh. There it is. Well, that just sort of sums up your afternoon, really. Sums it up nicely, doesn't it? Well, Terrible day at the office for me, not going to lie. Wasn't that the races? But... Next week, you'll take on Jackson. And if you win that, then you'll avoid going into the playoffs. Much more my level of knowledge. And hopefully I won't get questions like you're at the smallest stadium in Europe. That was tricky. That was tricky. You know. No doubt. Uh, but yeah, no anything you want to say to the people, Joe? Uh, What's going on I'd like Thursday? to apologise to anybody who supports the Espanol of <laughs> El Tuatico. I've really let you down today. I feel like I've let my family and my friends down too. So apologies for that one. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, go and check out the other Stat Wars the leagues and the champions, which I believe Patrick Van Straten was crowned this year's winner of. He was, start was the champion Sad champion. Him. And the playoff, the league, is taking place this Saturday between Michael McCubbin and Chris Hamill. So make sure you come back on Saturday and watch that. Thanks very much for, thanks very much for watching, guys. Nearly f at the end, pretty much did. See you later. <laughs>